everyone, it's Lainey Lashes here and welcome to the channel. How are you guys doing today? Seriously, let me know. Is there anything new in your world? I love hearing from you guys. Truly, you guys are my crew, you're my fam. I want to hear from you. It is so hard for me to believe that it's already April 1st and it's time for me to rotate out my monthly perfume tray. Where is time going? Seriously? It's sort of freaky how fast this year is going already. But if you guys love fragrance content, beauty content, and some lifestyle content sprinkled on in, make sure you click that subscribe button, join the Lash Fam, you will not regret it. Okay, I think that's enough chitter chatter. Let's get to deconstructing and reconstructing my monthly perfume tray. Here is my March tray. I definitely had a few successes that I have to share with you. I did finish up two of my mini Kayali's, Invite Only and Vanilla 28. I have a full size Invite Only, love it. And I really do wanna pick up a full size of Vanilla 28. I'm a little on the fence because I do have Vanilla Royale, which has a bit of that Vanilla 28 DNA in there. So I'm not fully sure, but I'm so excited to have finished these up. And then I was also able to finish up my Kayali Love Fest. I did like this, but it's definitely not a love. And I also finished up Flower Bomb Nectar. I really, 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 really love this. I was really hoping to finish up this Scentbird Parfums Demarly Delina Exclusive. I don't know how much is gone. The new package, it's harder to tell. I wish there was like a little gap in the label so I could see how much is left. This is not my favorite. Don't come at me. I know she's well loved in this community, but not my favorite. Would never buy a full bottle. It's honestly kind of hard for me to use up this sample size. I like the dry down as it gets more vanilla, but the opening is just like a, almost a little stomach turning to me and I don't know if that's the lychee in the beginning, but she's not my favorite. I did wear Utopia. I love this the more I wear it. I did wear Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. I like this one, honestly, like I, I do enjoy it, but it reminds me a lot of my sensual instinct, so I don't need a full bottle. I didn't pick up Deja Vu White Flower at all. I did get a chance to wear Letta Oris 22, no, 22 Oris. I think this is such a stunner. It's so beautiful and very elegant. I really, really enjoy this. So glad to have it. I didn't touch my Lancome Idol Nectar. I didn't touch my Jimmy Choo Illicit. I did wear DKNY Nectar Love. I really like this for a very fresh scent. It's a little sweet, a little bit fruity, definitely designer smelling, nothing spectacular, but like an easy reach. So I am glad I wore it because I do like it enough to keep it. Didn't pick up my Mugler Aura Sensual. I couldn't think of the last part. Didn't touch this. I didn't touch my Crystal Gardenia by KKW. March just flew by and I think trying to use up some of those that I did took so much priority over others. And I sadly did not finish this one up yet. It's a work in progress. So definitely did not get through as much as I would have liked. So I have been reaching for my Bath and Body stuff a little bit more to mix in with things. I don't think I'll put it on the tray. It's just easier to keep it down here when I want to mix in like body sprays with fragrance, I think it's just easier to keep it here and grab it. I'm definitely going for spring vibes. And I have three rows that I consider kind of either all season or spring, summer. It's really, it's really getting hard to pick. I do have some new stuff. I mentioned in my birthday haul, this one is new. I do have pistachio gelato, but she's upstairs. There might be something else hiding in here that I'm forgetting. That's what happens when you have a lot of fragrance. We know, she's got too many, all right? But I am wanting to keep some of the things I already have on my tray, so I'm gonna be very specific with what I grab here. So let me look, let me judge, and figure out what my heart is telling me to reach for and I'm kind of feeling these two fineries over here. So this month wasn't too difficult of picking out what I was feeling 
simply because I've got goals, 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 hashtag goals, goals, goals. I'm at a point where I kind of love like every fragrance in my collection besides a little handful of ones that I'm decluttering. So usually it makes picking out a fragrance for my fragrance tray really hard. I still am loving doing this fragrance tray because it's helping me really get to know my fragrances much more thoroughly. I think the only downside I'm finding is sometimes I feel guilty if I want to come down here and reach for another. If you guys do a perfume tray, do you ever like reach from the rest of your collection or do you stick strictly to your tray? I try to be pretty strict, but on occasion I get that itch and I'm like, nope, okay. I need to come down and pick something else out. But for the most part, I'm pretty darn stern with myself. Picking out wasn't as hard this time. It only took me a couple moments for two main reasons. Two of these are staying. Latafa Fakar, is that what this is called? I don't even remember now. This one I got for Christmas. It's supposed to smell like L'Entredi. And I haven't even had a chance to wear this since Christmas. I can't believe it, like, it's April, and I still haven't busted her open, okay? So I was like, nope, she's staying. I need to at least wear her one time to know if I even like this. Like, haven't even tried it yet. So silly, I know. I also am going to use up my black opium. I am so set on using this baby up, and we're starting to get close to the time of year, hopefully, if it ever warms up here, my gosh, where we'll get too warm to really enjoy this. It can be a little cloying, too much when it starts to really get sunny and warm, which feels like it's never gonna happen, but I hope so. <laughs> I'm ready. So I was like, okay, on the chilly days, because there's still gonna be chilly days, it's only April here in the Midwest, like we can still get snow over it. <laughs> but I was like, okay, chilly days, real rainy days, she'll be beautiful, and hopefully I'll use her up. I'm also wanting to use these up, my three minis I have left of Kayali. Utopia is beautiful mixed with other things. Deja Vu White Flower, I don't even remember what she smells like. I know there's peach in, I shouldn't say I know. I'm pretty sure there's peach in there. I can't remember. And then Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper to me is very cool weather friendly. So I want to use this baby up before the sun really starts shining. And then for new ones in the monthly rotation and hopefully some sunny days, I picked out three that I thought would be really fun for nice sunny days. One is fragrance that has been in my collection for a hot minute and I had in the declutter pile but then I changed my mind this is delay bubble pop I really like it but she doesn't last at all I picked this up at Urban Outfitters it's the Lay Gourmand brand you probably see ads for it on Instagram I do all the time but I also picked up a while back the bubblegum scented body spray from Bath and Body Works and the Vil Vanilla Bean Lotion and I just think the three of these would be so fun together that I was like okay I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna try it and hope it makes the bubblegum stay longer because she don't last she doesn't she doesn't and then two that are newer to my collection that I really haven't got a good chance to talk about I have worn both of these but time is flying by there's so many fragrances to pick from and talk about and share with my fam here but sometimes things get pushed to the back burner and these two definitely have. These are Finery, I'll just mention it now and if you want a whole video, please let me know. These were the two though that I love, love, love. The flower bed one, I was wearing this and I was kind of on the fence like, is it worth it? Cause I wasn't really smelling it on myself, but I went shopping at Aldi and when I got to the checkout, the girl was like, I was trying to figure out who smelled so good. It's you and I was wearing flower bed. The one that I really love is Magnetic Candy. And I almost picked up the one that is called, um, it's the sunny one that's supposed to be like a sun, like I've heard it could be a version of Soleil Blanc or um, I've also heard some people smell say it smells like Sundays. Some people sell, say this smells like Sundays. To me, the other one that I'm blanking on right now, I'll put a picture up here, smelled kind of like the Sundays by Byredo when I smelled it. It has this very harsh citrusy opening that I got with Sundays that I didn't love. I did like the dry down, but that opening was like so harsh that it kind of reminded me of a household cleaning product that I just couldn't get past it. But this magnetic candy is super fun. It's definitely sweet, it's playful, definite cotton candy in there, and it smells like sunshine at the same time. It's kind of like tanning oil, tanning lotion, 
mixed with some cotton candy. So I could see how this one is also supposed to be like Sundays. They do actually, the two fineries actually do have a similar vibe to them in the fact they both have like a cotton candy like feel, but I do prefer this one from opening to dry down. And that is all I'm putting in my tray this month. I was like short and sweet, keep it simple because you've got goals, goals, goals. You want to use some of these up so you can't be like grabbing a whole bunch of different ones all the time, even though there are so many over there that I want to play with so badly. I'm like really racking my brain right now. Like, should I grab the summer version of Red Temptation? <laughs> Uh, uh, yes, I'll be right back. <laughs> I bought this when it first released, heard about it, have the winter version, have the regular version. I'm a big fan. The price has gone up on this like everything else in the world right now, but I've only worn it like one time. I really enjoyed it, but I don't feel like I know her, like who she is in and out. We're not BFFs yet, so she's going in the tray. Okay, guys, that is my tray for April. Pretty simple. Like I said, I've got goals. I also am probably going to try to use up my Delina sample. I just, I don't love her. Part of me is like, maybe I'll use her for a room freshener, which seems kind of silly. Okay, really, I'm going to stop rambling now. That is the tray. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what fragrances will you be picking up in the month of April. And as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.